The Earth has oceans and clouds because it orbits a band around the sun called the habitable zone, which means it's just the right temperature for liquid water. And that makes it the only planet in the solar system where we know life can thrive. But as the sun becomes more powerful, the habitable zone will move. Venus and the Earth formed out of the same materials. They're roughly the same size. The difference is that Venus is closer to the sun. It's no surprise Venus is warmer than Earth. But strangely, Venus is even hotter than Mercury, despite being further from the sun. In 2006, the Venus Express probe launched towards our nearest planet to analyze the Venusian atmosphere in unprecedented detail. It found a vital clue among the clouds to how Venus became so hot. Venus Express allowed us to see that there was a lot of deuterium, which is a, a heavy form of hydrogen left. And that's indicative of the fact that there was once water here. It soon became clear that in the past, Venus was a very different world. So here was this beautiful water world, not too dissimilar to maybe what the Earth is like today. There was liquid water and reasonable atmospheric pressure and organic compounds. There's no reason that there shouldn't have been life. The evidence suggests that Venus was once in the habitable zone. But as the sun grew brighter three billion years ago, it would have had a dramatic effect on the planet's water. As the sun started to get hotter, the surface of Venus started to get hotter, and therefore the water turns into steam. And steam is a greenhouse gas, so that means it traps the solar radiation. And therefore, just like a greenhouse, it starts to get hotter and hotter. It seems a runaway greenhouse effect caused Venus to become the hottest planet in the solar system. 